Start getting an abortion was not a safe thing to do. But you've done it and no one is giving you a query for it. You just have to be more careful next time. All I said to Berlin that continued to ring in my head, was I a terrible friend? If I was in her shoes, would I do the same? <laughs> she cried so hard you could tell she was tired of life. Belinda walked right to my door with tears in her eyes holding a bag of beautiful materials asking for my mother. Unfortunately, she wasn't home. I couldn't help but wonder why. I had to confront her and she told me she was fine. Days passed and I didn't set my eyes on Belinda. I had to go look for her. Getting to her house, I knocked severally and no one opened the door. So I stormed inside. Getting inside, I heard Auntie Margaret discussing with Belinda. Nami born you. You see, this life you came to will be meaningless without me. I brought you to this world, and anything I ask you to do, you will have to do it. Share you the hair, Abby. Uche no just they come, come, they give us money for something. In no, they work for us. In God, they give us what we they give them. Now only you be my opportunity for this life. Share you get, Abby. See, as you follow Uche, they do these small, small things. In they give me clothes, in they give me money. Small time, I go carry keep for your school. Make you no be as sister, I wicked. Pata, pata, as I tell you so. I go keep money for your school. If time don't do, you go, they go school. When I don't get enough work, I won't get. Well, make you go, they prepare small, small. Say other customers go, they come later. And don't forget, condoms, they under pillow. Make you tell them, you get extra money on top. Take care of them, make them no come report you, say you do anyhow, because I don't go like here at all, at all, at all, at all. Share you here, be. Eh, hey, my daughter, make I tell you, nobody must know what you and Uche follow they do. Make you keep on the go, je, je, now only me and you can know about this thing. Eh, hey, share you here, me, Abi. Eh, hey, ma, come they go. Auntie Margaret came out and met me at the door. Auntie, where is Belinda? I have been knocking. She pointed at the room and looked at me with hate as usual. But the hate in me at this point was more than the hate she has for me. I got inside and I met Belinda on the bed. When she glanced up, she quickly cleaned her eyes like she wasn't crying. It got me pissed that I had to scold her and she started crying. She is wicked. She does not care about her daughter. Who in the world turns her daughter into a sex slave? just to feed. I slept with her cousin so he could not push her out of the house and he could drop little money for upkeep because he's sleeping with me. A man that has two grown up kids. Mama don't even save money for my school. Even at the huge risk I'm taking, she comes up with different excuses. I have been prostituting for like five years now. My eyes filled with tears for her. Even though she was the happiest young girl in our cabin, she had the most bitter experience. How can somebody's mother be this cruel? <sighs> she has forcefully accused her of failure, and now putting the girl into prostitution for five years was the height of it. I cleaned her eyes and hugged her. So we made plans, reporting her to the police. She firstly didn't accept, but I convinced her that this wasn't right, and then she agreed. After promising her, my mother would take her in. So we kept my phone beside her box, which was in one corner of her small room, so we could video everything for evidence. But the most painful thing is that the whole barriga knew Belinda as a church girl. I wondered how people will look at her when all this finally blows out. How would people take her? I walked out and picked my slippers after 30 minutes of my stay. A few days later, the plan was successful. The video was on my phone. Conversation between her mom, her, and some clients. 
no. when she refused to have no. sex without condom. And now no. she was forced for no. a step to it. I can't do this. I can't do this. I waited for her but she didn't show up and I could not take the issue alone. Three hours later, she knocked on my door. I opened and met her in tears. At that point, I could not scold her for running late and I wondered what happened this time. She's not only been molested, now she's pregnant. <laughs> Her situation just got doubled. I had no idea what to do or say. We sat down and thought this through. Abortion was the last thing on my mind. But then, there was no other option because she can't afford to bring up another child in that house of sin. We agreed on it, but we had to cancel our plans to make another. After a long rest in my house, she decided to take her leave. Just two hours after, I heard my mother yelling at the gate. I stormed out of the house to meet her. She was crying so hard, I tried to figure out what was wrong. All I heard was Belinda. I was confused at that state, I didn't know what happened. I forced the words out of her mouth. All she said was, Belinda, dead. I couldn't put those words together, so I stormed out of my house, went straight to her compound. It was quiet there. I was confused. I heard people shouting. I stormed out of her compound and ran towards where the noise was coming from. I saw Belinda's body in the hands of two men. She looked so stiff, her brown hair dripping down water. The water on her cheek was stagnant like it doesn't want to drop down from her fresh fair skin, which is suddenly turning white. I stood there without emotion. I didn't know if I was to cry or scream. Belinda just left my house not less than two hours and now she's gone. All the plans we made are gone. I saw how when she was washing at the riverbank, then she stopped and dived into the water. After some minutes, me I finished washing my own clothes and I left. I didn't even see any sign of her. 30 minutes later now, I'm hearing that she's dead. Ha! What made her commit suicide? I stood like a tree, hearing all this from people. Now she's gone, who told her suicide was an option? She just couldn't wait to see the final plans of life. After living her life for her mother, her mother will only mourn her for a few days and the world will forget about her. <laughs>